What's going on, guys? Welcome to PHP 89, guys. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot, mate. Have a good day, yeah. Cheers, mate. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel, PHV 89. Remember, I told you, second video after that video. If you haven't seen it, it's the video on the most hated Harley Davidson out there, which is the V Rod by the Purists. Let me know what you think in the comments on that video. Link in the description, guys, for the video. Right, let's get on the road, shall we? Noise Nation! Boy! One for the cold start nation, sunshine! Oh my gosh! She's noisy! She's noisy! Right, today's video! Ah. Listen to that, listen to that, wowzers. Serious amount of noise, serious amount of noise this is. What the hell am I going to do about today's video now? <laughs> I don't even realize what to do with this video. Right, today's video, I'm going to go through with you of owning the bike now for two years of maintenance and everything I've done to the bike and have I lost any soul or enjoyment on this bike now this one is my brother's bike it's my brother's V-Rod now as you saw I put in fuel high octane shell as much as I can high octane into the actual V-Rod itself because I look after the fact that it has high octane you know it's it, it needs it's a, it's a high performance engine and so it needs to have the best of the best you've got to always make sure that if you have something that's incredibly fast or high you know high performance you need to make sure that you're looking after it now, I'm not saying you don't have to look after your own car if you're in a car that is like a daily used Ford or BMW whatever it also helps if you run really good fuel in the actual uh, cars or motors itself so you know the more you look after something the better it will run and especially on high performance objects like the B-Rod especially if you're tuning it and also you want the best out of it you need to make sure you look after what's going inside of it so on my bike and my brother's bike I don't my brother but I think he does I think he's, I, he has yeah he does he always puts in here we go I mean, that's why you want to make sure it is running well. And I can tell you with ABS on it, or the night rod ABS on it. So ABS is quite right now that this thing, when you pull the throttle back, it gives you such a feeling. Oh my gosh, that backfire. Gives you such a feeling on the road that you're like, wow, wow. I just want to go for hours on this. It is just so, so, so good. So, only it, yes, fuel-wise, that's what goes into the actual bike itself. I try and stay away from things like tes Tesco uh, fuel or Asda fuel on the bike. There's been a lot of reviews on it. I'm not sure if it's 100%, but, you know, I can make sure I keep, some, keep to those, those uh, really, really good manufacturer fuel, like Shell, like, like um, BP, you know, all those big manufacturers. 
that's just my personal preference. I don't mind, you know, it's not a bad thing if you don't do that, but yeah, that's just my personal preference. Second of all, maintenance wise on the bike, yeah, there's a lot of maintenance that had to be done. I bought a few things that I had to make sure it's in the garage to make sure it's still there in case of a rainy day, which I'll show you basically some photos or some video clips of it of the um, gear shaft selection um, pin or linkage. Um, that 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 was that was probably the one of the biggest things that I thought yeah I should buy on because one of the boys Cam had a problem on his bike where basically the gear shaft is just snapped. Once that snaps, you ain't got no gears, which means you got no drive. So damn son, you need to get a gear shaft link gear shaft se selector. Um, so yeah, I ordered two of those, and uh, we got a pretty good price from America because they discontinued as well from America. You can't buy them brand new uh, from Harley Davidson. And you're looking at about 300 pounds, which is about 450 bucks, brand spanking new for just one. But well, we ordered 20, and we got a pretty good discount for them. Um, and it was, yeah, I was like, it's a no-brainer. So that that's still them. Both my brothers and mine haven't had problems like that yet. Yet. I'm not going to say it's never going to have it. I hope it doesn't have it. Come on now, boy. Come on, baby girl. I hope it doesn't have any problems. But you never know. And when it comes to the one day which that does happen, jeez. You will be regretting the fact you didn't say, do you know what boys, yeah, I want one. Let's do it. So yeah, that was um that was that was a very smart buy, I thought. And the best thing is if I come to selling the bike as well, I can sell the bike with those two with those selected linkages and it, it, it still holds its value. But you know, that's the beauty of having those uh, extras for your uh, pride and joy. The next thing I bought as well lately is an ABS tool. Now the ABS tool, oh big bump. The ABS tool is a very important thing for, if you haven't seen my video as well on the, me chopped my bike, putting the new rear fender on, I had to cut the rear bar, the rear, um, the rear uh, holder for the license plate and the, the shield underneath the actual thing. Oh no, sorry, it was when I took the, the handlebars and everything off the bike, sorry. I had to take the, the, uh, the brakes apart as well because I'm getting them sprayed. So that meant I had to bleed the brakes afterwards. Now bleeding the brakes on this is you need to do it every two years, which I did not know as well. So you have to bleed them every two years on the Harley Davidson V-Rods because of the amount of fluid that goes inside of the, um, oh damn, you hear that? Inside of the actual brake fluid holders. Now moisture gets inside of them too, which then gives it that uh, it doesn't make it as uh, condensed as it would be if that's the right word which means that it loses pressure inside the brake system now put it in in, in in normal terms that can cause brake failure if you don't change your brake fluid and brakes save lives you know what I mean brakes save lives get me son so actually you need to make sure you change your brake fluid every two years which I do a lot of riding myself now because of the YouTube channel so I have to change the brake fluid fluid regardless in the future in two years time now i've got to change it so i invested and bought with the boys again we bought an abs tool which you have to have to bleed the abs system on the v-rods muscles with abs on it or the night rods with abs on it so abs is quite a pain on this now getting a price from harley is about i reckon it'll be about 250 which i'll hopefully get on this video for an abs bleed on the brakes I reckon it could go from 150 to 250 for the uh, the ABS oh, uh, being bled. Now, the actual part cost me uh, $200, which included delivery and uh, yes, delivery and buying the um, the tool itself. Now I can use that every time. I basically um, bleed the brakes and I've got two V rods obviously my bike and my brother's bike this one over here so in essence if it is let's say 150 pounds each that means my brother and I will save 75 pounds each basically on the first bled um, brake systems on our bikes if we have it for another two years that's another 150 pounds we save each on this bike as well it's a no-brainer ain't it so therefore I'm saving money because I have to maintain the brakes on the bike 
So owning the bike, yeah, it's cost me a bit of money on uh, maintenance, uh, servicing the bike, even an oil change, an oil, oil filter, that cost about £50 to buy the oil and then basically for the filter. But then also the time of having to do it myself, which was fine, it was good. In the future, I might need to do an actual spark plug change as well, um, which I'll have to do, which is fine. Again, I, I can do that myself too. Um, tires, yeah, tires are pretty expensive, especially if I'm going to go on a wider rear end. But you know, for the look of the bike, it's about, what, 180 pounds for the rear tire, plus fitting, looking about 250 max, if you uh, take the wheel off yourself. Uh, the front the front wheel is about 125, 120 pounds. And um, yeah, like it's 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 not bad. It's not bad at all, really. It's 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 it's, it's worth it for my you know for what the bike is, how it feels and how it sounds. I love it. I think it's perfect. And I would, I, you know, I, I need to look after it. So doing that, you know, buying the parts I need for it, I'll do it. I mean, on my bike, everything's going to be fresh. I've got the wheel bearings be changed, the fork bearings be changed, or the on the. The tree holders as well being changed the wheels or the bearings the front bearings as well even the rear swing arm bearings as well is getting changed and also um my aluminium's going because it's going uh different colors i need to give you color then oh my gosh imagine that so i'm um, different colors as well another biker a loving life with the sunshine let's give you a bit of a power run again shall we oh my gosh here we go as we say, let her rip! Oh, that's exactly why I love owning this bike. It sounds insane. It sounds ridiculous, this nuts. Oh, I hope you can still hear me. <laughs> But yeah, this thing is just, this is why I love it. When you're up at this speed and you want to go any faster, it is, it just grabs you by the neck. And that noise, that noise. Oh my gosh. What a bike, what a bike. Beautiful sound. Oh gosh guys so on more notes you know um looking after the uh the battery as well make sure you have a trickle charger because the batteries on these they tend to go if you don't look after them and you need to basically make sure you do plug it in because of the alarm system the alarm system does drain the battery quite a lot uh, it's quite a good alarm because it's obviously sensitive when you don't have your key fob around you um so you would need to make sure you have that with you uh, when you obviously have the bike because Yeah, it, it, the batteries do cost about 40 50 pounds Which is about 70 bucks 80 bucks or 60 bucks 70 bucks US To uh, buy a new battery and if you're not gonna install it yourself Then it's gonna cost you a bit more money to get installed by Hart Davidson and they quoted me 150 pounds That's not including the battery Including the battery they said 100 they said 225 pounds so yeah, it is not cheap. Things are quite expensive on these bikes, don't get me wrong. Well, let's give you a drop down, shall you? Shall we? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Ah, second gear pull. Gosh, yes, 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 yes. My brother's bike is, my brother's bike's lovely. It is so beautiful. I mean, this bike's got 13,000 miles on the clock. 13,000 miles on the clock. I need to get my bike back on the road and not to keep adding miles to this bike. But yeah, it is, wow. What a machine, what a machine. So yeah, it is, Um, it's, definitely worth the last two years owning my bike and I'm pretty sure my brother loves his bike now as well 
he had a bit of problems back in the day where he um yeah he had a bit of problems with the with his license basically um but now he's yeah hopefully this year he will come back with me on the road and we'll be loving life on some journeys with the b rod boys in the future but guys you know owning this bike yeah it's been amazing i mean i might i'll, I'll have to get on the bike in the future but i'm not going to sell it unless i really have to um, and I hope you guys like, subscribe, add more motivation. I want to get to a thousand subscribers. Why? Because I start getting monetized by YouTube, which means more money comes in the door, hopefully. Um, which then also means that I could do a lot more for the channel. And that means more for the channel, more content, more bikes, more cars. That's the, that's the goal, hopefully. That's the goal. You know that is my that is my end goal i mean i, I do this because i enjoy it it's my hobby and i love it it gets me on the bike more and it gets me uh doing quite interesting things that i enjoy i hope you guys enjoy it too leave in the comments below what next videos you want to see let me know let me know in the comments below guys but please yeah like and subscribe to the video and to the channel such a good 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 day for march i mean we're march 7th we're still in like coming the end of winter entering spring it's still quite cold but it's been so dry the last few days gosh this bike wow it's still quite cold my hands are freezing i mean i've been on the bike for what, an hour now as well it's cold, it's cold, it's cold. But I'm waiting for the video I can release on my bike. I'm still waiting for my past to come back so I can put it back on my bike. Oh my gosh. Such a noisy little thing this thing is. A VW camper. Is that oil? He loved the bike. That was a biker behind me. It's just, yeah, I mean, makes me feel like such a young kid on the bike. Don't do it. going through that bend that bend just feeling that oh it's just it's just perfect presence this thing gives to everyone i mean they love it and you'll see hopefully in the future with the um the, the pd meets all the um the uh the v-rod meets with the boys when we're together i'll do some live live videos for some random people about commenting on the bikes itself 
to see what they say and to give you an insight. My hands are so cold. Right, so let's give you a small little talk about owning the bike. I mean, do I regret the bike? I mean, this is not my bike though, but I'm pretty sure my brother doesn't regret his bike. No, don't regret it. Do not regret it whatsoever. I mean, it is just, wow, look at it. It's just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. <sighs> yeah, guys, um, it's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Um, just keep enjoying the bike itself. Need to do some more work on it as well by keeping it clean. Need to give my brother's bike another polish as well just to keep it nice and tidy. Um, but yeah, at the end of the day, it looks pretty sweet. I just love it. So owning the bike, yeah, no problem. No, no issues at all with um, disliking the bike. I mean, it does end up having its ways where you think, gosh, it's just annoying. But that happens with all things that you need to look after. But yeah, wow. I'm blessed to have one. I'm blessed to have one. So guys, please like, subscribe. Please, sh let's share the content. Let's keep moving forward. PMA, positive mental attitude. I hope you like the video. I'll talk to you guys soon and see the next video. Cheers, guys.